Coming up, we've got GT Downhill Tech from Neil and Doddy. Nice, Blake is in Whistler for Crank, works the lucky devil. We're also giving away some Crank Brothers dropper seat posts. And we ask, is it time you tried something new? It's, it's the, the Dirt Shed Show. Show. Yes, welcome to this week's Dirt Show Show with Chain Reaction Cycles, and we're going to get cracking with five things you must know this week. And first off, Neil, uh, Martin Mays has yeah. won an EWS after oh a bit of a drought for him. He's had so many podiums. He won in 2016, and now Absolutely. he's back to the top. Great ride. Great ride. Um, Richie Rude lost out on that final stage. It was that epic top of the world, the bottom of the valley stage. Yes. 20 minutes or 25 oh, minutes? Incredible. 15? I can't remember. Yeah. Um, anyway, he Richard yeah. punctured and lost loads of time on that. He was yeah. uh, battling for the win there. Yeah. Um, but Sam Hill went on to win the Garbonzo downhill, another <laughs> epic race. That's a 14 uh, yeah. minute ride for Sam. Yes. 15 minutes, 60 minutes plus for everyone else. Yes. Even with a photographer stood on his line, but great result there. First yeah. time seeing Sam on a downhill bike for a while. Apparently he went over the line and asked for another go because that photographer had got in his way. Um, on a, Can you imagine asking for another run of a downhill run like that, um, but he'd already his time was good enough to beat Marcelo Gutierrez, who's won it I think five he times. He crashed and had a punch with Marcelo. Yeah, and uh, Sam Blanky stopped. He was up there. Third yeah, place. I've done that race, and I would definitely not want to rerun. It's <laughs> epic. It, my back was aching. It's such a hard race. Oh, I can't wait to do that one. I'm gonna uh, race that next year. I think. In the women's, Georgia Astle took the win from Claire Bouchard and Tracy Hanna. Yeah, apparently Georgia's one of the uh, you know the lifties. Is that right? I don't yes, recognise the name. Yes, so yeah, so. yes. That's George, amazing. Yeah, that's all very good. Yeah, incredible. Red Bull Rampage uh, wildcard entries have been announced. Some big names in there that we can look forward to. Um, yeah. Obviously, the top 10 from last year's race, they already instantly qualified. Yep, not a race. Um, race. Event. Event. Um, I wouldn't want it to be time. Can you imagine well. racing down? Oh my God. <laughs> um, but yeah, in these wildcard, wildcard, sounds like people you're never going to have heard of. But in there, you've got Graham Agassiz, you've got mm, uh, cool. Andre Le Condigui, you've got Brendan Fairclough. Yep. That would be a great one to see going down Bring out again. the flips again, I'm <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Some incredible riders to look forward to at Rampage this year. Yeah. yeah. Uh, also, Cannondale have released a new Jekyll 29er. So the bike we see, Jerome Clements on it. Does it have a lefty, Martin? I know you're getting excited. It won't have a lefty on it, actually, no, because when that when that bike came out, if you remember, it was a bit of a, a, a step out of the pattern for Cannondale. Yeah. It was a bit more of a traditional looking bike, but it's still just as Cannondale as I like. I love Cannondales. It's not um, red, it's not a beast of the East. No, but, but you know, I've got a soft spot for those guys. Um, and I love this bike. I think the Jekyll in 29 makes a lot of sense. Fabulous yep. looking bit of kit. And as I said, it's always a super nice from me. So it's a link driven single uh, pivot bike. Yeah, the only thing I would say about that Jekyll, right, is the water bottle, they fitted it into that little triangle at the bottom there. Yep. And it, it looks impossible to get at. Jekyll riders, let me know in the comment section down below. <laughs> Yeah. Right, also, Anton Cooper was racing in the World Cup this weekend. Almost um, won it. He was winning. The then he crashed country. and he, well, I don't know how to put this. He, well, maybe you should say <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't. He damaged his uh, gentlemanly area, shall we say. He ripped his ball sack. <laughs> he did do that. Ow! The, Ow! Talk about kicking the balls. Could have won uh, your World Cup cross country to that. <laughs> yes, yes, but it only took a few stitches to put it right, apparently, which sounds horrendous. Um, also in World Cup action this week, what I noticed was Rachel Atherton's storming run. Yep. Um, she is, when she's on form, as far as I'm concerned, when Rachel's on form, she's basically unbeatable. She is. Form is hard thing to come by. It. Yes. Mentally, physically, she's had a lot of physical problems over yeah. there. A lot of injuries. Yeah. So, But when she's there, there, when she's there, and she Absolutely. looks like she's coming to that little period again where she's just like, bang, it's all happening. Yep. I, I mean, third place, uh, Tracy Hanna, 20 seconds behind. Yeah. Um, Tani was really the only person in there who could, uh, yeah. but she was five seconds down. Yeah. So I sort of thought, Substantial. what about, this is happening in EWS as well. Cecile Ravenel is basically unbeatable. What we need to find out is on a long form downhill course, we <laughs> want to see Rachel versus Cecile but on a longer track. Garbanzo, to, exactly. Yeah. Next year, I want to see those two racing the Garbanzo. Garbanzo? Garbanzo. Garbanzo downhill at Whistler. If it doesn't happen, they will be hell to pay. Right, now, have you seen this video, Neil, of uh, our own Doddy yeah. uh, going on an e-bike ride with Steve Jones? I loved it. It's a brilliant video. Good vibe. 
vibes. Uh, actually, I watched this one. And it was one of those things where you know you feel it. You think, oh, I'd love to go for yeah. a ride after watching yeah. that video. It's cool. Yeah, I mean, it looks really great, and it really made me think. You know, should we be? Tr you know, mountain biking. It's really easy to get stuck in the discipline that you ride, uh, the kind of bike you ride. You know, Absolutely. we do categorize ourselves in this sport a lot. Yeah. Um, compared to other sports. Um, but what I really noticed is how much enjoyment Doddy got out of just, just stepping outside of the norm, just yeah. a bit. It's like he rediscovered it all again. I did it years ago, I think, mm. when I raced, I used to do, just do downhill and jumps. Then I started doing a bit of cross country, a bit of road, yeah. a bit yeah. of adventure biking, love yeah. it, it's great. Yeah. Oh, and you were the same, when you come back from our drop, yeah. and when you were in Chile, you come back doing something different, yeah. just, just sparks it up again, and That's suddenly it. it's all fresh and new. So trying something new, that is an important part of mountain biking, don't let yourself get uh, pigeonholed, pigeonholed into uh, just one thing. And Doddy, I, I, I think we should be asking him right, you know, because he's in the building. Let's he... get him in here and ask him what he thought was so great about riding an e-bike. Doddy! He's quite tall. I'm not sure I hear you up there. <laughs> And talking about Doddy, we've got the man here himself to tell us what was so good about that e-bike ride. So you looked elated. Do you know what? It was amazing. Yeah. I've got to say, yeah, I've ridden e-bikes a few times locally, and that's all right, like, yeah. no local trails, but actually where you're supposed to ride them, mm. big mountain stuff, mm. stuff you just wouldn't ride a bike, really. You wouldn't do such a big day going up and down those hills. Those kinds, I mean, it looks spectacular in the video, but until you're actually here, you don't realise how massive those climbs yeah. are. Yeah, Yeah. well, I live yeah. I live near that area, and the Brecon Beacons yeah. is stunning, but yeah, climbing up any of those hills once, let alone multiple times on a day. It messed yeah, me up big, though. Yeah. The e-bikes messed me up totally. Everyone's like, ah, oh, it's easy, you can just chuck it in turbo, ride uphill. You can't, it's not that simple. Uh -huh. As soon as you've got steps and stuff to ride up at the yeah. same time, Front gotta wheel. manage when, when it's gonna kick in and stuff. Yeah. Different kettle of fish altogether. Yeah. yeah. Right. So that trying something new, what's it done for you? What, is, what does that mean? Is it is it revitalised you, or does it mean you're going to change to e-bikes now? Have we lost you to Steve Jones? Hundred percent not. No. <laughs> That's uh, close. No, I'm still just a normal mountain biker. Oh, yeah. Um, but I definitely want to do some more of that sort of riding. And yep. it's made me want to do more like two, three day sort of mini adventures. Yeah. yeah. And that's yeah. a sort of perfect vessel to do it on. Nice, I think. Right, so one of the themes this week is trying something new. So something I've always wanted to try, and I've seen you do it, Chris, yep. is do one of those hand drag coaster wheelies. They're super hard, right past the balance, right past the balance point. Lena's far back, I'm not flexible. You might be a bit more <laughs> flexible. And yeah, I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna loop out on my ass over here, but give it a go. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> yeah! Oh, nice! Oh! <laughs> yeah! Oh! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Not one then for me. Right, time for tech of the week, Doddy. You've got this new GT Fury. Oh, we have, yeah. Show me what it's like. Yeah, let's kind of look. Ah, hang on, hang on. But before that, ah. Doddy said he was going to bring me a present. I said he could come in ah, the shed yeah. if he brought a present. I have indeed got a present from my ah. good friend, Jeff. Oh, yeah, ah, Jeff Ward. Yeah, so Jeff oh, is a photographer. Oh, this will be awesome. And he runs a site called Dirty Jerseys, and he's just done this new print, which is super cool. Oh, this one word. is. Oh, yeah. Oh, Ooh, look at that. Lids. Look cool is at that. Dirty skid lids. That's amazing. I think that he just gets awesome. framed to get up on the wall. Definitely. Behind us. 100%. That is awesome. I'm going to get that framed and put it on my wall. So he's got a whole load of different prints on the Dirty Jerseys website. Yeah, um, yeah. Loads of one-off stuff. Really cool. Well really worth checking nice. out. Really nice. Thank you, Jeff Wall. That is awesome. Okay. Absolutely great. Right, you guys, this go and fun. check out this uh, GT Tech then. Yeah. What, shall I just wait here? or? Just... Oh. <laughs> So you're just gonna go? Yeah, see ya. Oh. Well, could I not? Because if you move the desk of that, I could come. We can if you want. <laughs> oh man, you've got to check this thing out, Neil. Te... Neil. He does this every time as tech of the week. He just pretends he's interested and he's just not. Guess I'll tell you all about this GT instead then. So, in front of me here, I have the brand new 2019 model of the GT Fury. 
Now, this is an all new bike platform for them. A bit of a departure from their iDrive star systems and actually going back to the four bar LTS linkage tune suspension system. So there's three different versions of the bike. There's the Expert, there's the Pro and there's the Team like this one. Now, there's two wheel size options, 27 and a half or 29 as you see on the Team one here. And you can just change the chip to basically flip the BB height to keep it the same. So the geometry remains exactly the same on both bike. 27 and a half inch wheels give you 200 millimeters of travel. 29 gives you 190 mil of travel. Reason for that is there's simply not enough clearance to get the extra 10 mil without fouling somewhere on the frame or on the back of the saddle. Now the actual design itself is quite an interesting one. Now the designer behind this bike, his name's Louis Array. Now in the past, he worked at a company called K9 Industries. And he's very famous for his sort of ingenuity in bike design. And one of the things he always had was a high pivot with an idler wheel. And you guessed it, this bike has a high pivot and an idler wheel. Now, why is that? Why is that the fashion at the moment? Well, the truth is, a high pivot point is the, simple, is the best place for a downhill bike to have the pivot point because the wheel path can actually move up and around that obstacle. So it's the fastest, basically, method of absorbing a bump and not losing momentum. The downside of that is, if you were to have the chain just in the normal position, you get such chain growth with a high pivot design that you're really gonna feel that when you're pedaling. So by rooting the chain over that pivot point, it levels it out again. So this could be one of the best designs for downhill bikes. And we are seeing the Common Cell and the Norco really take good effect at the moment. So I wonder if everyone else is gonna go high pivot with an idler. We shall see. Okay, so if our high pivot is so good, why doesn't everyone do it? And why don't we see it on trail bikes as well? Well, that is starting to happen on trail bikes now. So if you check out my tech show on Monday, you're gonna be looking at a very special carbon fiber high pivot trail bike. Now, one of the concerns on a trail bike is, of course, having the extra wheel can add extra friction to your drivetrain. On a downhill bike, that's not that much of an issue because it's all about momentum down a mountain. Trail bike, you have to pedal that stuff. So we're gonna have a good look at the friction involved. So be sure to tune in to the tech channel. Right, it's been a super busy week out here at Crankworks Whistler, a lot's going on. I've been taking part in some of these events, got some cool results, but I've had more fun than the results entailed. Um, but Sam Hill took the win, and Garbo with an incredible run, so congratulations to him. But it's a big weekend for mountain biking this weekend. We've got the Silk Mountain Race out in Kazakhstan. Also, we've got round six of the Pro Fix Swiss Cup. We've got the UCI Mountain Bike Marathon Series out in Verbia. And we've got a race across France. Now, who would want to take part in that race? That sounds horrible. Back to you guys in the shed. Fact of the week. So the GT's uh, namesake, the LTS DH, actually won the World Cup overall in 1995 under Nicolas Villiers with a 65 degree head angle, way ahead of its time, but only 120 mil of travel and V-brakes. What happened <laughs> between then and now? Did no one learn? Yeah, head angles <laughs> went like that, and now they've gone back like that. Yeah. But yeah. bikes have He grown. was right way back. But he did ride on bars like this. Yeah. 90 mil stem, 660 mil wide bars. Crazy. Thousand bales, and to get us in the mood, we've got this one. It's the Christmas free ride in Swinley, which is in the UK. It's a funny little loamy hill. Um, I think you'll like this, guys. This is from Looking Matthew. This. Sent in with our uploader. As yeah, well. yeah, yeah. Uploaded, and uh, yeah, definitely a lot of fun. Here we go. Do you think you could get down there, Neil? Yeah, you could manage it. One way or another. What's the trick? Is. It's speed, isn't it? It's fast as you can go. Fast as you can go. Best way. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Should have gone faster. <laughs> I look so much fun. Oh, wait up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's an over the bars where the bike stays where it oh is. Oh my god. Like, that's a good it place to like, crash a bike. It looks like it's getting harder and harder. Yes. No, oh my <laughs> oh. god. He looks like, like a he groin just, strain. Yeah, he looked like he just separated something. He's got an Anton Cooper injury. <laughs> Rip ball sack. Well, if anything's going to get you in the mood for a bit of a run VT, then ball sacks will do it. Here we go. <laughs>
You good? Yo, I got that on video. Ready now? Hacks and punches! Hacks and punches! Hacks and punches! Go on! Hacks and that's what I'm drink. You sort of sap the energy out of that. <laughs> I do that. You do. I do that. <laughs> Walking. Not rooms. generally. Not generally. Just that song. <laughs> right. Hacks and bodges this week, and we're starting out with a ramp built to Blake's design by Dominic Watch. in the UK. Nice Pretty work. good. Looks like a lot of fun, doesn't it? it does. But Dominic you've been outdone, right? Because check out this one from Andreas in Germany. Not only built a ramp, but built a carrying Aww. device. Whoa. That's so he can work. wear it on his back and take it to spots. He's got to course, course. lie down his front while someone hits it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that's what he does? That's, that's pretty good. Yeah, so that's some good jump building work like that. Good hacks there. We've got a good bit of uh, art related stuff here from Christopher in North Carolina. Oh, He's nice. He's used a pair of what looks like a pair of old Cook Brothers cranks yes. as, uh, yeah. to hold a shelf up, which is pretty cool, I yeah. think. But I actually Actually, if I was you, I wouldn't have done that. I would have done it with rims, quarter rims, and I would have used those for a door handle instead. Oh, door nice. Cranks, I think Massive. It'd be, it'd be quite nice cool, idea. wouldn't it? Someone's but doing really a cool, lot though. of home DIY That's at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. But the winner of the £100 chain reaction voucher da, 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 da. is Travis from St. John's in Newfoundland and Labrador, Canada. Wow. Sounds like two types of dog that he owns, but it's actually a place, mine, in Canada. <laughs> He's built a stand from some scrap 2x4. Nice. So both his, uh, his bike work, and his huh? wife's bike stand up mm. in the truck. Really yeah, cool. Very cool. Hack. For sure. Yeah. And he wins a hundred pound chain reaction cycles. Yeah. Good work. If, if you'd like to uh, win a hundred pound from chain reaction cycles, then you can do it by uploading your hack or bodge to our uploader. There's the link. The link is in the description down below. And that goes for bike vault, for fails and bales, anything you want to send into the show, basically. Just go to our do uploader it. and get involved. Right, time for the caption contest from last week. It was Blake and his bat flip Insta 360 shot. This one comes from Mountain Bike for Life. When you're doing a bat flip and see a dog poop in your tires. <laughs> <laughs> if you've got time to look good. at dog poop when you're doing bat flips, you're doing them well. Mm -hmm. um, next one from Robert McFadden. When mountain biking sends you head over heels. Yeah, yeah, yeah kind of predictable. Doddy, what you got? Uh, Bug Boy 152000. Did Dennis? No, oh, well, now look, that's that's Dirt Shed Show history right there. It's did Dennis? You know, it's a fails and bells joke. You guys must know that one, right? Don't know that one. Yeah. What? Who are these guys? Have you <laughs> ever even been in the Dirt Shed? We're, we're not in the joke. Dennis is a big part of the uh, of the vibe in here now, lads. You've got to get the up winner. To speed. Oh, there's a good one down here. It's called. It's from the Court Ode or Court Ad. Can't know how to say that. Now this is a story about how my life got flipped to an upside down. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Fresh Prince yeah. style. Let's That's go good. on. So GM down water ball. Coming your way. Nice throw. Do you guys not know who Dennis is? No. Nah. From the Fails and Bells videos? No. Nah. Oh my God, I've got to show you it. I think this is it's a you and Blake joke that... Oh man, it's so We're fun. not in on it. No one else gets. Show Dennis. <laughs> Gather as much speed as you can. Don't go on that one. Come on this one. Go, 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 go. Go. You okay? Did Dennis tell you to... So the photo for this week's caption contest is Chris uh, dragging his hand doing that manual super hard to do. I mm. failed, he did it, it's amazing. Good picture, leaves your funny caption contest down below for a chance to win the GMVN Camelback water bottle. Get involved and win one of those bad boys. Uh, viewer edits now, Mark, what we got? Yes, yes, right, we've got this one from Kevin. Uh, it's a really cool video, actually. It's one very bit of a uh, big story. South big story. Tyrol. So I yeah, rode yeah, the, nice area. Uh, Alpa, the Superbike Dolomiti over there. So you might know these trails. Epic oh, scenery. Look at that scenery. It's Did you know this is where they filmed a lot of cliffhanger with, what's his name? Sylvester Stallone. Sylvester Stallone. Him. Yeah. 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 I like this. Bit of pre-ride amble. Getting the vibe. Friends. Train. Like it. Into the ride in itself. God, it looks high up there. Massive rocky mm. hills. That would be my three. So you, summary. so you boys have ridden it. Well, that looks better well, than where I've ridden. Ride. Somewhere around there. God, I'd like to go somewhere like this. Looks well That's loose, isn't it? Actually, raced the yeah. World Cup downhill in Cortina d'Ampezzo back yeah, in Italy. Yeah, oh. early 2000s. Yeah, I forget that's not far from there, is it? Yep. Uh, so Kevin says, in 2017, I went hiking in this area, instantly knew I had to come back for some bike packing. So I planned a route, booked some Alpine lodges, called a couple of good friends, and we went out for some amazing wow. days in the awesome. Alpine isolation. Looks gnarly. It does, oh, look yeah. at this. Finished the last day with some bike park action too. 
Oh, cool, and they've left us the uh, URL for the YouTube, so I'll put that in the description down below and you can follow and watch this video in full. In full. Oh, that's an epic in place. Good times. I had a blast. Good times. Yes, thanks for sending that in, Kevin. That's a good one, that. Lovely, uh, I fancy a bit of that. Yeah. Funny story from uh, the Dolomites. My friend once broke his neck in the Italian Dolomites. And they put him in a <laughs> yeah in a <laughs> plaster cast from like mid chest like and in like it was like a hoodie. It was like a one piece I thing. It was. Yeah. And you joke. Got back to the UK Body cast, and yeah. they laughed at him. But so he flew home like this. Oh my god. Yeah. He was all right. We all lived happy ever after. Yeah. It's not the funniest story I've ever heard. But anyway, yeah. Um, yeah. Make sure you send us in your viewer edits to the uploader. In the comments this week, um, thanks so much for getting involved and we had some great interaction from you guys on our question from last week's show, is mountain biking just too oh, yeah. damn expensive? Um, and I'm gonna start out with this one from Esby who says it's stupidly expensive. A lot of us at the lower end of the uh, socio-economic scale will never be able to own and maintain any of the bikes we see here in the magazines. It's sad, but I view a lot of these bikes like a Lambo or a Ferrari. Ooh. Well, I've never thought of it like that. That's true, actually. Some of these things are just unreachable because mm. they're uh, so expensive. True. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I dreamt of expensive bikes as a, as a kid, but yeah. we're at the lucky end of the scale where you know we get these bikes, we take them for granted probably a little mm, bit. We get absolutely. these very expensive bikes, but yeah. Flip side, mm. um, Mud Whipper says, as a petrol head, mountain biking is a cheap passion. See? That's very true. Yeah, a bit yeah. of comparison, you know. And it's then, all relative, yeah, I suppose. Relative, yeah, yeah. Um, and lastly, Brett Bain, he says, it's expensive as you make it. I spent the last 18 months uh, on a 400 pound cube hardtail 29er and loved it. Just upgraded to full sus Calibre Bosna Evo, which is a nice. great bike. Less than a thousand pounds, isn't it? Less than a thousand pounds, yeah, 999. 130 mil travel front and rear, 180 front, um, 160 rear shock. Everything you need. It's basically very SRAM one by. For the money, it's an awesome bike. You can do it. So that's you a can do it. When I was a kid, you couldn't get a good bike for yeah. that money. Now you can. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Which was your point last week, wasn't yeah. it, Doddy? Yeah. That, that, that you get an awful lot for your money, even though you, it feels You do, expensive. yeah, compared to back yeah. in the day. Yeah. yeah. What else we got in the comments, lads? Uh, one last one, actually, I thought was really funny. Joseph Chapman says, any company that expects us uh, to pay thousands of dollars for anything with a press fit bottom bracket deserves a kick in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, kind of nearly with me. <laughs> Um, oh, in the bike vault. Now we've got a complaint on the bike vault. Oh, oh Doddy, you haven't done a bike vault for ages. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah. yeah, probably. That, <laughs> yeah. That's a good complaint. Um, Shagley says, I like that name, Shagley, uh, says, imagine going to break in this myth, uh, going for a break into the mythical bike vault that's meant to have nothing but the nicest, nicest of all bikes you've ever seen in it. Open up said vault to find a bloody gravel bike gravel bikes. and a crap old tandem, which are a couple of things I've put in in the last few weeks. I may agree with Shagley here. Yeah. Are you drinking your funny tea again? Look, I like gravel bikes. I like gravel bikes and I like tandems. What's wrong with that? It's, it's all relative. To me, they were super nice. You can't complain. You can. You know the name of this channel, yeah? Global Mountain Bike Network. <laughs> yeah. I think gravel bikes look ace. Is yeah, a but gravel they're basically bike. road bikes with yeah. lovely tyres, aren't they? I'm going yeah. away with Cy Richardson. He's riding a gravel bike. I'm riding a mountain bike. We've sort of done yeah. this already. Yeah. But somewhere yeah. else. And we're going to ask, do mountain bikers need a gravel bike? I think you need a sail. I don't think they do. Where are you going? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it might do. Um, and lastly, just mentioned on Tech last week, uh, Jonathan Middleton says, love that guy's brake setup. Uh, where Blake found the dude out on the trail with the double lever brake setup. Yeah, amazing. Um, and he says, so glad to see people can get out there and ride their bikes, adapting things and making it work, which yeah. I agree with. It was awesome 100%. to see. Great week coming up on the channel. What are you looking forward to, Doddy? Um, I think it's the Nuke Proof Mega, the retro versus modern that yes. Neil's done. I so think I, this is I super cool. I took the very first Mega and their brand new one, see how things have changed over the years, travel wise, geometry rides. It's funny, it wasn't stuff. that long ago, but no. they're well to part, these two bikes. Little really wheels, yeah. 26 really inch changed. wheels on the L1. Yeah, of yeah it's Looking very cool. That. Neil, got anything you've got? Uh, so I've done a video on how to approach your first race, how to find out what you want to do, how to prepare for it. That's coming out on Wednesday. Nice. Do you remember your first race? Yes, I do. Yes. Doddy. 
Yeah, just about. Yeah, because sometimes yeah. those first races mm. can be harrowing and you put them out of Scary. your mind. Yes, terrifying. Mm. Remember mine, it was uh, uh, a whole way around. Um, <laughs> I tell you what I'm looking forward to this week, Blake's Whistler Diary. Yep. Mm. I'm so jealous right now. Oh, yeah. He's over in Whistler, it looks amazing. All the stars are there. Oh, the weather looks great. Oh man, brings back such good memories. Does, yeah. yeah. Oh, and I just want to be there. So I'm looking forward to that diary, seeing what he's been getting up to. Great week on GMBN coming up. Okay, let's dive into the bike vault. Yes. Doddy, are you ready? Are you excited? I am. Let's I get love in looking there. The super nice bell is ready. First bike is from Ruben or Bayer. Do you know what I like those? <coughs> That's really nice. Good looking bike. Yeah, Training for his first enduro race as well. Isn't nice. that the Yeti colour though? Mm. Uh, it's close. It's very close. It's close. Yeah. Custom frame decals apparently on this one I like actually. That. Yeah. I'd, yeah. I'd go in with it. It is a strong super Hard hitting nice. super nice, yeah. yeah. yeah for sure. Next one is nice oh, shot. Like oh, that's a really Look good at that. shot. Oh, that? I don't recognise it. It's the Gorilla Gravity, um, the Smash. He's nice. riding Angel Fire. I race a World Cup down on Angel Fire. That's that is a, a lovely field bike. of rocks, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's a super nice. Isn't it? That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I'd go super. Yeah. Nice. To, get, yeah. to get a riding shot, I think that might be the first one. Really? That might be the first riding shot. Does that shot break in the, the rules of bike vault? But yeah, because the... the bike's still the star, isn't it? What's that shock? That's one of those push shocks, isn't it? Cool bike. It's a very yeah. cool bike. Um, yeah. Definite super nice there. Uh, this oh, well one known. is from, oh my good, Zvonimir. Yeah. Um, near Madrid. Near Madrid, San Lorenzo. Oh, uh, it's lush. I like the cars. Nice. Yeah. Super nice. Cool. Well, no, I think that's uh, going more. Well, I think that's super nice. Look at the bike. It's nice Hit cars. the bell. Hit the bell. <laughs> it looks like a MotoGP bike to me. I don't know why. It's like race car. I know exactly it? what you mean. Yeah, definitely race race esque. Ah, oh, another shot there of it. Um, here we go then into Adam's Trek Remedy 8 out on the trail. It's nice, can't see enough of it though. I it's think. nice, Quite there's a bike. Shadowy. There's a double bike hiding in the background there, <laughs> which I'm put out by. That's not gonna it's get nice. super nice from me. Oh, Adam, you can't talk on that, you put a gravel bike in. Yeah. <laughs> says that in my, my super nice is a void. Adam, that's nice. Next Ooh. up. Oh, that's uh, nice. That Hans 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 John's Gray. Uh, this is a Gavia Race SLL 29. Yeah. I've never heard of it, but it's a very cool bike. That's oh, really like nice. A bit of an XC weapon. I like it. Like. Right. Super nice. Super nice there. That's in Norway. Next up, Mammoth Creek. Mammoth Cave Park. Sorry. James's Giant Anthem. Park City, Kentucky. Can we? Uh, it's nice. It's nice. It's nice. Good bike. Good bike. Another, oh, this is Adam's bike again. Can nice. Durham. Okay, this is Bernard's Nuke Proof Mega. I've got to say, I'm a fan of Town Walls. Oh, I know really? we're not looking at tyres here, like but oh, no, they I'm make not. a bike look good. I'm not, and the dropper's down. His pedals aren't three o'clock, and I can only see half the bike. I'm sorry. But it's not a gravel bike or a tandem. So it's not going to get a supervisor from me. It's nice. Oh, I'll say it's harsh. nice. Yeah. It's nice. You say that was harsh? Really? I don't know. Oh, that's um, a cool picture. Wicked picture. Evans uh, Specialised Stump Jumper. Newcastle, New Newcastle. South Wales. It's cool. It's nice. It's a very strong photo. <coughs> it's a cool photo. The bike's really, really tiny in it. <laughs> you can Is see that... the stick is popping Doddy, up you're a well. photographer. What do you think? You should judge On a photography time. basis, I'd say super nice, but Photoshop out the stick, mate, and it'll be a banging shot. <laughs> well, I can't hit the bell then, Neil. Hit the bell. Really? That's, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The dog's giving it super nice. It's good. Um, right, this is That's Caleb's nice giant, giant yeah. rain. All the Aussies this week. Yeah. Uh, Good bike there. Amazing bike. Mm. Yeah, I've Good bike. Nice. 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 Next up, Martin in uh, Austria. Ah, oh, throw another Can shrimp on the barbie. <laughs> That's Austria. A dumb and dumber joke. <laughs> it's a nice. That's nice. a nice. Right, let's start building up the momentum in this bike vault. This is from Nicola, and it is from, uh, where is this? Bulgaria. Bulgaria. I like the effort you've gone to, but a bit more side on, I think, yeah, for a super nice. It's bike. definitely nice. Yeah, yeah, nice. Next up, we've got... Ooh, oh, that's nice. This is Stefan's YT. YT, yeah, sweet. Oh, I do, I like YT. In Munchen. I like YT as well, actually. Mm. In Munchen. Go on, Neil. Yeah, go, go on. on. Super, nice. super nice, super nice. Next up, this is the most meandering slow bike that I've ever known. <laughs> Some good bikes. Um, yeah, Andrew in uh, Rally in uh, hey, North in Carolina. Carolina. Yeah. 
Nice. See, the rally threw me. I thought it meant that was a rally. Yeah. I was like, it's not a rally. No, it's cool. Uh, yeah. I like nice. It. Oh, that'd go nice. 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 Cageless See, bottle cage thing on yeah, there. Yeah, fabric, yeah. I reckon. And next up, we've got Ooh. Alexander's Form Ripley. Scott. Nice. Nice. Can't see enough of it. Nice. Seat's very low. Very no, low nice. seat, that. That's yeah, nice. Ooh. I like this common mm. sale from Miko Pateri. Common sale for another one of those fabric bottles on there. Oh, yeah. Must be a common sale fashion thing. Well, uh, take a look at the weird greens going on in this picture. What are you thinking of those DVO forks, Doddy? What do you yeah, think of those? Yeah, they're really good actually. Yeah? Yeah, take a while to set them up. They're nice forks. And that seat? Uh, I'm not too me. keen on the seat. Is that but, a um, seat? It does camouflage you nicely with the background. Go on, that's a yeah. super nice Yeah, go on. Right, really? that was a, come on, Neil, that's <laughs> nice. It's That's a super nice time. Yeah, it's nice. It's a good strong bike vault this week. Has your bike got what it takes? Please keep sending them in. Uh, we love seeing them and we do uh, peruse them for maybe a bit too long, I think. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Let's get going with the show. Right, guys, I've not been on Instagram much this week, but have you got any bangers for me? Oh, People yes. I should follow? Yes. Yeah. Can I go first? Go on, go on. Um, I'm going to throw to uh, Monica Hrasnik. Yep. Right? She rode the World Cup this weekend uh, in Mont Saint Anne. She, uh, she couldn't ride her bike. I don't know why this was, because uh, Tom upstairs just told me this. Oh. Um, she couldn't ride her bike, so she borrowed Valley Hull's bike. The, the girl is wow. just smashing juniors at the yeah. moment. Um, and and she, she got two seconds slower than um, Valley Hull. Hole and sixth place overall. That's Good. unreal. She's Borrowed podium, bike. Monica has been That's nice. Too. This is her Instagram page. You should definitely give her a mm. follow just for that effort. It's amazing. And I'm going to throw you over to a bit of Gold Noldy actually. Mm. Kurt Voris, who's not only one of the best <laughs> technical riders, he's one mm. of the funniest people out there. Yes. So, first video, him just in tire trap, tire traps, tire traps on a tree yeah. and crashing. Yeah. And a second one, um, which I was just laughing all day at this, yeah. he's riding recumbent bikes around a skate park. Yeah, he's uh, a you just got to watch his stuff. He's so good. He's a brilliant rider and he does actually teach techniques, doesn't yeah. he? Does another yeah. Instagram. Yeah. He's amazing. Um, yeah, yeah. But he's we fantastic. should do something with Kurt, I think. Quite the character. Yeah. Quite the character. Right, exciting time now. We can announce the winners of those Insta360 cameras after our competition uh, between the, the presenters for the best edit. So five winners of Insta360 cameras are Michael Skembo, Ross Crosby, Sam Leach, Steve Mitchell, and Blair Edwards. Wicked. Nice. But I guess you want to know more importantly who actually had the presenters won. I was wondering when we we're going to get to that. Yeah, yeah. who had better. the best video? Right, That's so what in, I want to know. In third place was Jess with 22%, which I think is really cool. She'd been here literally five minutes. Yeah. Yes. Gave her a camera, go out the woods, go and film. Yeah. I think that's, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. Uh, second place, Neil, with 34%. And then, of Not course, bad. Blake up top there, because Blake loves playing with cameras and toys, doesn't he? That's all he yeah, ever does. It, yeah, yeah. He's really I, good at it. I actually, my favourite was Neil's edit, because yeah. it, it had the best content in it. And yeah, it had, had some time. Well, it had some cool. time, yes. Yeah, I like yeah that so Blake lot. had 44%. Nice. Yes. Um, on the subject of competitions, don't forget that our pot giveaway is still running. You've got until Monday to get involved in that. The uh, link is in the description down below. And make sure you head over to GMBN Tech, because Jess did her first unboxing, um, and you can get into yeah, there and unbo kit. unbox that nuke proof kit and uh, get yourself some goodies. Finally, we've got a new competition uh, this week on Dirt Chat Show. We've got four Crank Brothers Highline drop seat post to give away. Yes. One in each of the sizes, so they come from different drops from 100, 125, 150 and 170, 170. coming 30.9 and 31.6 diameters. So follow the link down in the description down below to win one of those super reliable uh, hydraulic cable actuator posts. Now, don't forget, you can always head over to the GMBN shop where you can support us by buying some of our merchandise. It helps us get out there and make these videos. I am sporting our sleeveless race top, which I love. It's very summery. I'm pushing the summer stuff right now. It's not sleeveless, not a vest, man. It's like more like short vest. sleeve. Well, you know, short sleeve, short you sleeve. You want a muscle vest. <laughs> um, it comes in another color as well, but I'm scared to bring it out because they might clash together. So it might catch It's pretty together. loud. But um, Ooh, it also something. comes in the orange and pink. Short sleeve. I'm liking these. I lot. love that one. Yeah. yeah. The coolest great. thing I think is these kids' oh, jerseys. Check yes. that out. Look at that. Like, Eight to fourteen for, things. Yeah. For kids and for Blake, that is absolutely perfect. Yeah, that just about fit, Blake. <laughs> um, yeah, you can get these between. Uh, they're for eight to fourteen year old sizes. How old is um, Blake? Blake's mental age now, <laughs> um, and these 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 tops are exactly the same materials and all the same tech as our race tops, so they're a yeah. fantastic buy. Mega. Um, 
and they're maybe the cutest they are so good seen. aren't they so yeah. head over to the shop make sure you check out there's the race tops there's these sleeveless tops and of course there's the hats and the mugs and the cups and all that stuff right a couple of videos i think you should watch uh, it's doddy's e-bike adventure over here with steve jones and my adventure from the hard rock absolutely. over there absolutely hit the old link there to subscribe and uh lastly give those thumbs, thumbs up, up like. see ya